Okay, today we are starting 9.1 um, similar triangles word problems. So it's kind of part two to 9.1. Um, so here are some steps to solving word problems. First, you wanna draw a picture always. Then you want to write a proportion. Then you need to substitute in the numbers and then solve. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple examples today. Okay, here's the first example, number one. Sorry, let me get this right. Okay, this is number one. Haley is estimating the height of the Superman roller coaster at Six Flags. She is five foot three inches tall. Okay, so that's, I'm just gonna, this is five foot, five feet, three inches. So that's with the single quotation mark and the double, um, the, the double quotation mark mean, okay? Um, and then her shadow is five feet is three feet long. If the height of the shadow of the roller coaster is forty feet, how tall is the roller coaster? Okay, so um, we're just assuming these are going to be similar triangles. So we're going to start by drawing a picture. Well, I'm going to start by circling some numbers that are important. So that first number was important. Three feet is important. Forty feet is important. And then we need to know how tall the roller coaster is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and draw. Um, Here's a picture, here's the girl. Here's the girl. Um, okay, so here's her triangle. So she is five foot three inches tall. So this side of the triangle on the left, let's turn that into um, feet. So five foot three inches, that's five, um, feet and then three twelve three inches is three twelfths of a foot okay so that is five and three twelfths of a foot because there's 12 inches in a foot okay so that's five and a quarter so that's 5.25 okay feet because we want to leave everything in feet you could also switch everything to inches and you'd get a similar um, it, that would be fine as well. Okay, so instead of, I'm going to erase the girl, I'm going to put 5.25 feet here, that's her height, and her shadow is 3 feet, so we're going to pretend her shadow is down here across the ground, that's 3 feet, and then um, for this height of the roller coaster, so the top of the roller coaster, it's much bigger, we don't know this side, so this is the height of the roller coaster that we don't know, but it casts a shadow similarly, at 40 feet okay so this is what it means we can now use similar triangles for this so in the step two is to write a proportion so i'm gonna do um so height of girl so height of girl over shadow of girl and then you set that proportionally equal to you make sure the height is on the top of roller coaster over shadow of roller coaster. Okay, so then you can just sub, step three is substitute in what you know. So that's 5.25 feet on the top. Everything needs to be in the same unit. So this is all in feet. The shadow of the girl is three. The height of the roller coaster is H and the shadow of the roller coaster is 40. Okay, so we can cross multiply here. Cross, remember, um, cross products are congruent. So we can multiply 40, sorry, 5.25 times 40, and then set that equal to 3 times h. So that's 210 on this side. Show your work. So h equals 70. Remember, we're in feet. Okay, so we're going to write a sentence. The height of roller coaster is 70 feet. Okay, number two. Adam is standing next to the Palmetto building. He is six feet tall. 
it's a, no, it's a number to circle, and the length of his shadow is 9 feet. If the length of the shadow of the building is 322.5 feet, how tall is the building? Okay, perfect. Everything's already in feet for us here. And this one is set up exactly the same way. So I'm going to draw him. Okay, I'm going to draw him over here, and then I'm going to set a triangle. Here's how tall he is, and here's his shadow down here. So he's 6 feet tall, and his shadow is 9 feet. Okay, you gotta make sure to put your numbers in the right spots. And then there's this massive building over here. And the building, remember it's the shadow of the building is 322 feet, so make sure to put it in the right spot. And then what we don't know is the height of the building, so it's the same setup. So we can go ahead and write our proportion over here. So we're gonna do, um, 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 height, of Adam over shadow of Adam equals um, height of building over shadow of building. Okay, then we can substitute. That's step three. So step three is six over nine equals height, we don't know, over 322.5. Okay, so that means we can cross multiply here. Um, 6 times 322.5 equals 9 times h. Nineteen thirty-five equals 9h. So h equals 215, and remember we're in feet again, okay? So we're gonna go over here and write our sentence. Our sentence is the Palmetto building is 215 feet tall. Sorry. All right. And the last question for today is Number three, when Lewis's dad threw a bounce pass to him, the angles formed by the basketball's path were congruent. The ball landed two thirds of the way, oh, this should say between them, between them before it bounced back. If Lewis's dad released the ball 40 inches above the floor, at what height did Lewis catch the ball? Okay, so this is, we gotta draw another picture here. So I'm gonna draw dad. Okay, and so I'm gonna draw his height, or, well, let's go ahead and just draw. Let's go ahead and look at the question again. Lewis is at through a bounce pass to him. The angles formed, so there's some angles we need to talk about. We're congruent, okay? The ball landed two thirds of the way between them before it bounced back up. Lewis's dad released the ball 40 inches above the floor. Okay, so that's a number we need. So he, here's the ball. Um, that's 40 inches above the ground. He releases it, does a bounce pass over to his son, who's shorter, and catches the ball at a lower angle. Okay, does that make two triangles? Okay, good, so that's the bounce pass. That's the trajectory of the basketball. So some things we know, we know it's 40 inches. We know that it landed two thirds of the way between them. So this is two thirds This is two thirds y, some distance, and this is the rest of it, one thirds y, okay? Um, and then how, at what height did Lewis catch the ball? So we're looking for this x over here, this height of the ball, okay? So we can confirm that these two um, triangles are similar because it says that the angle that it bounced is congruent, okay? And um, And yeah, we're just assuming that it's similar here. Um, there's enough information given. Oh, and then this 90 degrees over here. And then, so, so since there's two angles that are congruent, then um, we can assume that the two triangles are similar. So we're gonna go ahead and set this up. Um, we're gonna set up sides that are equivalent to each other. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna just put some numbers, some letters in here, A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, so I'm going to say AB, that side length, 
corresponds to, in the other triangle, it corresponds to ED, the height of the boy. And then we can put our two thirds down here. And since they both are Y, we can just put two thirds and one third. Okay, we don't need to put the Y. It actually will cancel out. Okay, so, oh, actually I'm going to um, write AC, that's the length of the first side, and then um, DC, which is the second the second leg of the triangles, okay? So then I'm gonna sub in what I know. So I know that AB is 40 inches. I know that AC is 2 thirds. This is where we don't need to include the Y. I know that ED is the X we're trying to find and DC is 1 third. So I can cross multiply and I will get 40 times 1 third equals X times 2 thirds. And we can rewrite that as 40 over 3 equals 2x on the top and 3 on the bottom. Okay, in order to get the x by itself, we need to multiply by its reciprocal. Remember that? So we can multiply by 3 over 2, and that cancels this 3 and this 2. So we can multiply by 3 on, over 2 on this side, and that 3 goes away, and it becomes 40 over 2. So x equals 20. So the boy, so Lewis caught the ball at 20, we're in inches here, inches above the ground. All right, so the example problems um, are very similar to the homework tonight, so try that on your own.